Want to use icons like me and elaborate your experience on EFC 24? Well, check out U7 Buy. It's the only place JD Gaming ever uses to buy his FC coins. Type in JD for a cheeky 6% off. Link in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Today we look at the Berlin Wall 5 9. Low high work rates, which are perfect for a center half. Italian center back. Fabio Cannavaro, the Pitbull. Now, this card is a really nice card. The only gripe a lot of people have with this card is his height. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. If you're into manual defending, this guy's insane. Like, he is such a good center half. I'm a big fan of Fabio Cannavaro. The thing I love about this card is the way he intercepts, the way he breaks up play. And my favorite thing about this card, which I think is the largest and the best, the most important thing about this card is he's got really good agility and balance for a center back. This is the icon version of Cordoba. So if you guys like Cordoba, and listen, because of his jumping, he can win headers as well. And he did. He scored me a few goals from just, the, just his ability to jump. I really like this card. I really do. Yes, I agree. His height, a lot of... A tall centre backs are my favourite, like the likes of Van Dyke, like Vidic. I really like. I like my centre backs to be six three, six four. However, can I just say it's nice to have a centre back that's got really good agility and balance. So why not? I mean, why not buy this card? I think for two hundred thousand coins, it's not a lot of money for an icon centre back. Yes, pricing is always going to be an issue. When Virgil van Dijk is 170,000 coins and on next gen, Virgil van Dijk is the best centre back in the game. I don't care what anybody says. Right now, this very moment in the game, without patching van Dijk, van Dijk is the best gold card in the game. Hands down, absolutely no question about it. He's the best centre back. He's better than Lucio. He's better than... He's better than uh, Vincent Company. He's better than Maldini. He's just insane because of his body. He just He makes all these crazy AI interceptions. And he's so dominant. And I love that card a bit. So when it comes to pricing, quite frankly, every centre-back has it hard. But like I said, the niche of this card is amazing at cutting out passing lanes. Really quick, perfect work rates, uh, wins headers. Uh, even though he's 45-9, he's got fantastic jumping. He's quick. The only thing I would say is because of his height, sometimes, I uh, could be wrong here, but sometimes you might miss the slide tackle and you could either concede a red card or you'll just completely miss the ball. And, you know, because when somebody 6'3 slide tackles, it's different to somebody 5'9 slide tackling, okay, because of the sheer limbs. Like, if you slide tackle with Van Dyke, the guy's going to cover so much ground and maybe this card is, gonna, is not going to cover as much ground as possible. But I still think he's a great centre-back and I really do like him. He didn't really do much wrong you know there wasn't a lot of cases where i was like thinking oh this guy's not a good center back i thought he was a very good center back however it just always creeps back and i'm really sorry to say this but for 200,000 coins you would never get this guy when virgil van dyke's 170,000 coins because van dyke's is van dyke is everybody's dad this year so uh, maybe if 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 you're thinking about you just want icons then this is a good card i'm happy to give him an 8.7 out of 10 thank you very much for watching peace